back in Toledo. St. John's hosting St. Ed. Second quarter, Titans trailing Kennedy Vaughn. Long pass ahead to Joseph Taylor. Lays it down. Central down by seven. Then the first play of the second half, C.J. Hornby cuts wide open, lays it in. Titans grab a 40-39 advantage. But the Eagles respond. We go to the fourth. Titans down a dozen. They work the per perimeter. Trey Lake living up to the first name makes the Trey Lake with 14. It's a nine-point game. Two minutes to go. Titans down four. Hornbeak goes one on one, steps back long, two on the mark. It's a two-point game. Hornbeck with 17 after St. John's ties at the free throw line under a minute to go. Off the miss. Cam Grant, the putback for the Eagles. St. Ed's reclaims the lead. They make their free throw. 69-64 your final. Titans not happy with the outcome, but encouraged by the process. Yeah, it's a competitive game. Um, it, we, we've always played St. Ed's every year, and it's a nice little friendly rivalry, and it's a great barometer as to where you're at as a team because if you don't bring it against them, they take advantage of you. And I think it took us a little bit of time to get our feet underneath us, but we showed you know what we can do. We're not going to celebrate a loss by any stretch, but I think there was some stuff to take to learn from and to grow from to uh, help us moving forward. Let's send it back out to the Titan Dome with Mason Lowry and John Hobbs. Back here at the Titan Dome, really a great high school basketball game, and I know it's kind of a cliche, but we're going to go with it anyway. It's a shame that somebody had to lose. Yes, sir. This was a great game tonight. Two great programs coming up against each other, especially that the St. John's Titans had to play last night, lost a tough game to Central, but you can never tell by their play tonight. They absolutely got after it. The thing that really hurt St. John's last night was a lack of complimentary scoring. C.J. Hornbeat got his, but nobody else did, which is why it's really gratifying to see both Trey Lake and Justin Toller come off the bench and have double-digit scoring outputs. Well, I'll tell you, tonight, the bench, we heard so much about the bench of St. Ed's tonight before we got here, but when you saw the bench of St. John's, they done a phenomenal job, and that Trey, baby boy, he got at it tonight. He provided the energy and effort that St. John's needed coming off the bench. We might be looking at him getting a starting position coach. Well, St. Ed's one of the best teams in D1 in the state of Ohio. Mike Schoen said they're not going to celebrate a loss, but they will take some positives away from performances like this. I do wonder the one area where this team might struggle a little bit against teams that are really big. St. Ed's had a 6-7 and 6-5 front line. St. John's doesn't start anybody above 6-4. So when they go up against really tall teams, they're going to have a bit of a mountain to climb. Well, one of the things they got to do is what Coach Schoen did tonight. When you have a shorter team, you got to change your defense all the time. One of the things I want to see St. St. John's do is work on help side defense against taller teams, but they made the Titan, they made Ed's turn the ball over over 20 plus times tonight. That showed the defense is working. They just need some height. That's all. Tough loss for St. John's, but plenty to build on going forward.